two, one, go! Almost yeah. 400 viewers on our stream, thank you all very much! It's only the first uh, round of this nice Fit for Gaming War 3 EU Zodiac Legends Cup. So, uh, there's a lot to come! Yeah, man, and uh, the upper bracket is uh, full of, like, there's some human players, right? There's, I think Hawk is there. Hawk is in it. it. Uh, and there's Sub, or no, still? Still is an Orc still player. Is, still is an Orc, yeah, I don't know why still, no, I think this is the only human player. But we will see a human player in the next best of three, which is yours yes. versus Spill. A German, uh, German versus German, uh, yeah, we're Germanizing it up and casting it in English. And an awesome uh, human versus Nightlife. I'm excited for that, man. Me too, but uh, first I'm excited for this awesome Orc versus Undead because it's my favorite matchup of them all. And oh, okay. uh, Xun changed his uh, build order a bit. The altar is a bit later now, and he even went for early graveyard. That's pretty yeah. uncommon nowadays. Yeah, it is. Normally you see uh, Crypt, uh, Altar, yes. no, Crypt, Ziggurat, Altar, then Graveyard, Shop. But so, yeah, we have the latest uh, hero possible uh, at the undead side. I don't know what uh, that's gonna tell us. He's not going for a Lich Tower Rush or something. Yeah, I think it's just, uh, it, it has to do with the creep roots, man. He will, he will have some nice creep roots uh, yeah. uh, prepared there. Maybe even uh, creeping the uh, rock golem as quickly as possible, or you know, just creeping the shop really fast. He will probably go for goblin uh, laboratory, then the poison nightcrawler, and then the shop. Oh no, he's starting with the shop. Oh, that's cool with the uh, sacrificial skull. Oh yeah, he just bought it. Yeah. So that's um, ambitious. Yeah, but you always want to. Um Irritate the blade master so he can steal creeps and items, and I think this is a great way of doing that. Yeah, true. And the blade master has his own free brood at the left side. He gets the forest roll bird at the level four, which provides him with big amounts of experience points on his own. Uh, let's see. Okay, he did scout. Better safe than sorry. And replenishment potion. That's cool because uh, yeah. What? Uh, and that uh, leaks at tier one is healing, and of course, if you uh, throw a lot of cults, you won't have mana as well, and that uh, combines both of these legs the undead race has on tier one. Yeah, it's a, it's probably the best items in uh, item in this situation. Yes. He can throw one more coil, and uh, it's exactly one more coil actually, like 75 mana if it doesn't get interrupted. Of course, uh, Sand Rewards is also pretty cool, and uh, now we have the first little uh, skirmish, but I don't think the Orc player can do much there, but the other player decides to retreat. I think it's a good decision, no, never, never mind. The Blade Master has the first claw of the game, maybe uh, this is a pimped Blade Master game, we'll see about that. But I don't think there are a lot more uh, claw spots on this map. It's pretty well designed, I think. Yeah, and this time he sold his TP uh, in his base, I suppose, uh, so he could not buy a circuit yet. And now we see that the Blade Master already does quite some damage on these fiends and interrupts the creep root of his opponent in an effective manner. He has more experience points than his opponent, so I think the Orc player is in a good spot at the moment. I think so too. You always want a fast level 3 on the Blade Master, so, uh, so you can creep um, your, your second hero uh, solo. Yeah. And, and he's Harris. in a good way to that. Nice block with the Grunt here. Yeah, and the other player is able to uh, kill the creep with his skeletons. So, nice. um, yeah. Gains quite some experience points too. So now there are four fiends, which is a lot already. There's no additional cigarette coming up at the moment. Maybe this tells us something about um, the way that this game will continue, but I don't think so. I think he's just missing it because his tech is quite far away still. That's hard. He's going for the mid quite rapidly, so I don't know what he's doing here. He can't build a second hero. Maybe he's he's going for a very early uh, tech, then building the producing buildings, and then the second hero. Yeah, maybe, but I think the zero will finish just in time when he arrives at tier 2, but he still will have some money saved up, so I guess he will tech and build the hero, and then uh, go for the slaughterhouse. Okay. 
uh, um, as soon as he can. Like, Ziggurat still is a little bit slow, but yeah, I think he wanted to, uh, um, yeah, to 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 kill the no, to destroy the woods, um, to have the Ziggurat being planted down back yeah. there, so he could not build the Ziggurat earlier. Now he's going for tech plus Lich. And yeah, well, this just worked out perfectly, so the Ziggurat was just in time. Yes. Very nice. So, yeah, uh, Shadowhunter is the second hero um, for Cash, who is playing now with another account, which is called Cash for King. <laughs> <laughs> I, really uh... Motivating himself before this match. <laughs> I don't like Shadowhunter that much. Um, I know it's maybe more efficient and stuff, but I miss the storms. Yeah, me too. And the fast cow, fast orc unit is yes. always a big pleasure to see, man. I lost against um, some guy with awesome stats on War 3 Arena who played, uh, who, de who really played um, Thorn Chieftain first versus my human. And I was oh, like, what? Yeah, and he was able to surround my heroes with speed scroll and uh, level 1 aura with uh, with the additional 3 drums. He's damn fast, man. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, Are you fucking kidding me? Can Another replenishment potion for the Blade Master, always a good item so he can heal up and uh, be in a wind walk. Ooh, that was... This lightning shield hurts. <sighs> so, quite close to level 3 is the Death Knight and the Blade Master is, of course, already level 3, and it seems like he still wants to join the creep. Oh no, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that gonna do here. He's just uh, stealing experience from a Shadow Hunter. Yeah, it seems like that. But it seems like uh, it was a hard creep spot, kind of. You see, uh, the units of the Orfe are quite damaged, so maybe he just wanted to provi uh, provide okay. some, more, some more damage. Um, yeah, so now he has no clue where oh, the other player is. Oh, rune braces, man. Oh, yeah. The oh, perfect yeah, so. item against every undead. Man, Cash is not messing around. They both have uh, great luck today. Well, soon yeah. not so much on Amazonia. But Twisted was insane. Twisted was uh, sick. Tier 3 tag is done, but he's so far away that uh, the Orb of Corruption won't be available um, anytime soon. Wow. So now the Orb player didn't know where uh, the Under player was. Uh, so the Under player gave it a shot and looked if he could find some unprotected burrows, but this is not the case, so he's able to defend himself pretty well and no, no player will lose a unit there. He has no destroyers yet, so no chance to fight there and uh, Cash, again going for tier 3, again going for Kodo, again going for uh, Headhunters. And your mouse is once again... Okay, uh, yeah. sorry. <coughs> okay, um, yeah, tier 3 is done for the under player 2 now. He already has his Orb of Corruption. And on the other side, of course, we do have an Orb of Lightning. Beware of the Blade well. Master now. Oh, he stole it! And no, the DK got the item. Yeah, very totally important started, once yeah. again. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, that was quite an important um, creep steal. Oh, now he can take one obsidian statue. They're so important. But here comes Colin over on the Blade Master Silence as well. Wow. Healing wave counters it for now. But when sick is the next nuke timing. available? The coil sick is timing. available. Yeah, sick timing where the all player just uh, creep checking at the time that the uh, rest of the army will join to save the Blade Master just in time. Man. That was so yes. close. So and he well was done. Very lucky that there was no mana for another Nova. Yeah. Because the Blade Master would yeah, have died. True. Yeah, well, that's some sick game sense, man. And now Cash is just running away. Uh, we know that the other player is in good shape at the moment because he has his third hero just arrived. And the Kodo Beast just eats a uh, Crypt Fiend, and now there's only three, two Fiends left, um, and a Destroyer, so I don't think I like this choice of focusing on the Blade Master, and he does not either, so he loses another Fiend, no, gets coiled just in the last second, but we see not much damage output left for the under player, still managing to kill some minor units, but the units that he loses are quite, quite expensive. 
I oh, don't know why he focuses the, uh, the Kodo Beast that late. It's 10% damage to every single unit. In my opinion, it should be the first target in every yeah. fight. Level 4 well, now for the ble uh, Beast Master. Late well, master. 1000 uh, hit points, so it's almost as hard as focusing a hero down. Yeah, but you can nuke him. Yeah, I know, but the opponent can heal it. Yeah, I um, think, but I think it's better uh, than targeting the uh, Blade Master all the time. Well, the op the under player does not have a TP, and he coils his Lich, so he, s he stays in this fight and is yes. actually able to turn it around and is able to probably kill two more Orc units. And the Shadow Hunter is pretty low now too. The Orc player gets himself a scroll of healing from the tech and uses it immediately. Now the Destroyer is being attacked once again. One more coil, and the Destroyer survives for now, but now it will fall. Oh, wow, and now the next run will fall, and the Orc player has to retreat. Wow. And supply numbers are equal. A player's forces Undead heroes are the shit, man. <laughs> yeah. I love them. Wow. So sick, man. What a fight. Oh, he has so much luck with the perch here. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It was kind of a dicey move to transform it because it's quite expensive. Yeah, you, you could have saved lose. it. I don't know the, the, the chance for a perch. Do you know it? Uh, yeah, I think it was like I don't know. Uh, a player's force is uh, what was it, man? I don't, I don't remember. Just, just make something up now. Yeah, two, 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 two seconds. Ah, okay. Now big, I just made it up. big creep spot for uh, cash. I just made it up. That's what you do. I know, man. Yeah, okay. Cool. Once again, the Illyria's Field of Accuracy, and once again, it's a very good item because uh, combined with the Kodo Aura, uh, the Forest Troll Berserker get plus 8 damage. Yeah. What is happening there? 15% says Enter. Thanks, man. There's, there's people out there in front of my house and, and screaming. <laughs> Cheering for you, Phil Lee. Phil they are Lee. cheering, yeah. Nice. Wow, st thank you so much, man. <laughs> I didn't know I have so many girl fans. Oh, the Blade Master once again coming for a creep steal. A bit late, maybe, this time. Level 3 for the Lich. Oh, wow. Very nice. This is so important that the Blade Master yeah. didn't get the, 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 the creep. Yeah, because so with true. Level, level two, Nova. 2 Nova, man, it's so important. Did you hear it? No. No, okay. Okay, don't worry about that. Um, so we have the next fight, and it's uh, looking. Hard for both players to get something going there. We still have a minor lesser uh, lesser immunity potion for the Orc player. He loses the radar, but seems to be fine because he killed a destroyer in exchange. And now he's going for the blame master once again. The blame master is down, but it gets healed up once again. Immunity potion used on the death knight. Immunity potion used on the blame master, and then the destroyer gets focused out once again. Maybe gets killed as the coil, but it gets out too late, and he's able to kill the destroyer. And that ranger will fall too late. The TP was too late there, and this is this is a big issue there. I think it's the perfect timing now for uh, Cash to build a pocket expansion. Yeah, so true, man. It will take some time uh, for the Dark Ranger to get back into the game. Yes. He knows that there's no Boneyard on the way. The TP was s very expensive. The hero levels are not that high. The uh, inventories are not that good. And I yeah. think he lost almost his entire army. Yeah. Totally, man, and the supply numbers tell the stories. Like he's, he was back. Uh, he was, he was down quite some, uh, quite some numbers. And what interesting, interesting thing is that when the blade master killed the sacrificial pit, um, after that the under player never chose to rebuild it. Yes. Once so, again, uh, yeah. coming back to the fight, I think once again the worst choice possible to focus the blade master. He had. Yeah. The rune braces, and he had a potion of invulnerability, and um, the shadow hunter in the back to provide him with some nice healer waves. And he just focused him and focused him and focused him, and yeah, just wasted damage. I'm kind of excited for the next fight because I think you know soon is kind of good, um, and if someone can get something going, it might be him in this situation. But I don't think like he he surely is uh, in a huge disadvantage, man. He's even. Uh, pulling his ghouls to fight, which he can because he has enough uh, uh, lumber on his bank. But um, this is getting really, really scary for the under player because he knows he has to deal huge amounts of damage against this kind of uh, big-looking orc army. 
Yeah, but he knows the expansion is on the way, so that's maybe the last possible time yeah. to attack now. And he watched to the right side of the map to see if he could get some more experience points, but now he has to worry about his Obsidian statue, which is ensnared, so he cannot be trans uh, transformed. So Obsidian statue falls, now he goes for the stroke for the stroke berserk. He's able to kill the first one, but he loses a feed immediately. And now the Dark Ranger is in some trouble, but manages to get out of the situation. The, the Blade Master just splitting heads here, and now he, he uh, oh. switches the focus to the Kodo and coiling it. Oh, heal wave, very nice, and the movement is very nice as well. Yeah, almost no damage output left, and you see how hard it is to kill a Kodo. Yeah, man. man. There it is, um, but yeah, well, <laughs> that's the next one, just swallowing the Fiend once again. Oh, yeah, that Blade Master critical oh, strike for 264! Oh, yeah. no oh the backstab does it. Yeah, and this should be it. Wow, good game, and Sun uh, gets defeated by Cash, so... Yeah, the foreigners, if you want to call them that way, um, are superior at the moment. Well, it was just the equalizer. Oh yeah, sorry man. I'm Soon so won the first uh, match. I'm not spoiled, so I don't know how the how the third map will turn out. So me neither. Yeah, so don't don't get me wrong. I don't know who will win this best of three. One to one then. Yes. Get confused when I cast more than one best of three after a <laughs> while. Uh, yeah, so, time for another small commercial break and then we have the deciding match between Cash and...